When Effie entered the painting room, it smelt different. Everett was preparing his colours, squeezing them out of the tubes and thinning some with linseed oil. These were the raw materials of her likeness. She could see the pale creaminess of her skin, the flush of her cheeks and lips, laid out carefully on the palette. The canvas was covered by a cloth. When Effie asked to lift it, Everett said no. He wanted to finish the painting before he showed her. So she took her seat, her head turned away slightly. She was aware of Everett's movements, the deft strokes on the canvas, but could not see him clearly. They spent the morning mostly in silence. She did not speak for fear of disturbing him and disrupting the image, so she sat and thought. She was used to sitting in silence, watching her husband at work. She had spent many days like that early in their marriage, as John sketched in the drafty marketplaces of northern France. But here at last she felt useful. She wrote to her mother later that she was anxious to be as much help as possible. After a break for lunch, Everett wanted to press on. By mid-afternoon the light had begun to fail and they had to stop. The sittings continued for several days. Occasionally John would come up to ask how the picture was proceeding, but Everett still refused to let either of them see it. Unable to give Everett the benefit of his wisdom, the critic set off for Denmark Hill again. Effie was left to her thoughts. Holding the same pose tired her at the end of each session as Everett tidied away his brushes and cleaned his palette. She would walk around the room, easing her stiff neck. By the last week of March, Everett was ready to return to his studio to add the finishing touches. On Saturday the 26th, Effie went to his family home in Gower Street. She was shown through to Everett's painting room at the back of the house, overlooking the garden. He explained to her that he had not been quite happy when he got the canvas home and wanted to make a few changes. So he settled her again in front of him. From her seat she could see the spring flowers and the budding trees, while her mind wandered back to Bowerswell. By the end of the day, Everett was satisfied and finally willing to show it to her. Eff Effie walked over to the easel and stood beside him. It was a bold picture, full of emotional tensions and compositional challenges. There was no prettiness, but instead a study of strength determination, suffering. Everett had seen through her. This was a shock and a moment of recognition.